Good morning. Greens family, Bumani Tamba here. We are live at Denton Bridge in the Gambia. And family, we're getting ready to set sail down the Gambian River for the journey of a lifetime. Today, tour is gonna take you to James Island, uh, which is now Kunta Kente Island, and also uh, Jufri and Abreda. So family, this is the historic route, culture, journey of a lifetime. And uh, we're here, and we're about to get boarded on our naval vessel. So this is the view from Denton Bridge. This is our brother. Yes, Abdul, brother. you ready to do it again? Yes, yeah. <laughs> How excited are you? It. This is family. This is our, uh, you know, sailing is, you know, is wonderful. So we're about to head out on the water, and this is how the, the area look, family. Denton Bridge. So we are at the port, and we are about to set sailing. So family, this is your captain, and we are ready to set sail. And yes, family, you may not know, or you probably didn't know that we had a navy, but this is our naval vessel. And we are going to be cruising, cruising. Got all my wonderful brothers and sisters here that's uh, been enjoying this wonderful journey. And family, it's just been incredible. All aboard! This is the captain speaking. We're going to be taking off in about another minute. Make sure you hold on tight and get ready to make a move. And it is a beautiful, beautiful, tropical, sunny day in West Africa. So family, if you have not been to tropical West Africa, you don't know what you're missing. We have been, uh, been around from Ghana, Togo, Benin, Senegal, Gambia. Yeah? And it's always a wonderful venture. Just getting everybody boarding, and then we are going to just connect and enjoy it. There, once once the boat pulls out, it will level. It's just it's just not connected to the port. That's why it's moving like this. Yes, yes, yes. Not a beautiful sunny day. And the bridge you're looking at, Denton Bridge, that is the bridge that's going to take you across to Banjo. And that's how we uh, got here. And then there's a different port that connects to the ferry. But this is a little private boat area. Okay, we'll see you when we get back. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> we'll see you when we get back. All aboard! So we got two decks, you know. We got the top deck. Hello, everybody in the upper deck. Upper deck. All right, then we got down here in the lower deck. Yes, family. All right. You can unhook us and uh, let's sail. So Usman, is this the same? Um, is the same boat that we used last time? Not actually. The same. That boat had a little problem. The they are making on maintenance. You know, is before a boat is used, the the tourist authority have to make sure that they recognize it through with the Gambia Navy that the boat is, is, is seaworthy. So the other one is on maintenance. It's over down there for replacement. So we use another boat. Okay, perfect. Next time we're going to get us a yacht. Yes. Uh, oh my God, if you need a yacht, they have the yacht down there. There's, that you want to, maybe three, four, five people, they can use the yacht. You can go to Limon Creek. This is also more faster. Yes, family. So this is my neighbor brother here and uh, we're setting sail and so this is your this is your commanding officer and this is your executive officer here, Naval Brothers, and we are you know we're commandeering our ship and we're gonna cruise. This is gonna be fun and exciting. 
Uh, once we just start pushing off and sailing down the Gambian River, it's kind of like just going back in time. Uh, so this is a roots and culture journey, so it has a lot to deal with uh, the history of our stolen African ancestors, because we're talking about uh, Kunta Kente Island, which was formerly James Island, which is which was a slave fortress or holding um, holding cell slash dungeons, uh, you know, similar to what we talked about with Gori Island, Elmina, and Cape Coast um, uh, dungeons. Uh, this is just uh, that history that uh, connects us to what's going on. So it's not something that we can uh, run from or hide from. We have to always embrace it. But when we, whenever we do the roots and culture journey, this is what's included. Uh, it's a little bit of everything. So we are setting, sailing off. And we've got the classic new Senegal and Gambia Journey for a Lifetime t shirt. Uh, this year, color is red. Two years ago, uh, the, it was a yellow or gold t shirt. So it's the same color. So I mean, red, black, green, and gold. Spirit of the colors of our ancestors and of, the, of both countries. Uh, the big difference is the Gambian flag has blue in it. Uh, and here we are taking off. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You are welcome to Tintin Beach. We are embarking on a journey to Tufet. So, in this boat, I will just give you a little advice that will help some of us that you know they easily feel dizzy. When they're in the sea, when you are sailing in the boat, yeah. oh, the balance is not good. Inside the balance, All right. We are gonna balance it. You see, this is also part of the safety of the boat. The boat has to be balanced. All right. Coming back to the journey experience, if you are sailing in the sea, what do you have to do? When you go outside, you will not see these little trees. You understand? This is just a channel of the uh, river. When you are about to feel dizzy, just pretend that you are looking for an object. Pretend I'm looking for an object. Your system will take it. And when the system takes it, you will never go. It is a medicine. Sometimes, all of the used to say, okay, let me take C6 tablets. No, it doesn't work. Just pretend that you are looking for an object that you don't see. You know, when this mind change, Everything will change in your system. But like if you focus on something all day, oh, I'm feeling dizzy, I'm feeling dizzy. It will in in inherit you and then you have it. So you are all welcome on board. When you are going on board, as far as we are sailing, please consult me if you want to climb on top. I will assist you and you go on top. If you want to do any other movement, there is a bathroom here. You can use yourself. Everything is here. There's water, plenty water. Coffee, there's coffee here, and then everything will be okay. Sometimes, when I just want to be drinking continuous like me, that's why today I'm not fasting. When I'm in the sea, I enjoy drinking yeah, because it's part of my life for 18 years. So, you are all welcome on board. We are going to our home, so let's have the faith that we are going home. We are not going anywhere, we're going to our house. So, Are you serious? Uh, that was interesting. <laughs> there you go. And if anybody don't know how to put them on, the students will be in the back. I'll show you how to wear them. Put the mask drop from the ceiling, put the mask on yourself first, and then put it on your favorite child. <laughs> You're hilarious, man. That's funny. Look at my price of my body. What's wrong But no, the light tanks are very important. I'm laughing and giggling, but they are very important because we're out on open sea. And uh, I swim very well. But I don't spend this day. Yeah, yeah, you will so you you leave sure that. that. You want to make sure that if you feel uncomfortable, if anything scares you, Put the life jacket on. It's not heavy. You can wear it the whole time. And if you fall in water with the life jacket, you keep your head above water. Right. So you don't have to try to swim. Right. You know, it's, it'll keep you up. At least if someone comes to visit. There's a lot of boats out here. And boating people are amazing. They will help you. If we get stuck, they'll pull you. 
they'll pull you to the shore. So you shouldn't have any. You know that's Thank the you. Of what? Right. Because because he's a former sailor. No, I went to the airport, but I did have a boat. Oh, okay, Lachlan. I, I had a boat, but I sold it like a fool. I should have kept it. But no, it's, the water is safe. But Doug, you have to pay attention. And we're older, so you know. Let's be clear. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's pretty clear. <laughs> there you go, family. So that is our safety briefing. Safety briefing. So now we're just gonna enjoy, enjoy, and enjoy this cruise, and it's nice and cool. And once it starts getting cold, you just put on your jacket. But beyond that, it's nice and sunny, so enjoy the breeze. Yes, we're back there in the engine room. Yes, engineers, fire up the engine so we can set sailing. Yeah, well, of course, they didn't, they didn't open the valve for the fuel. There you go, man. Only a naval yeah. expert right here, man. Yeah, they didn't open the valve for the fuel, so the fuel well, that was inside finished. So now the fuel has to go into the engine. They forget to open the valve. The fuel valve from the tank, you should open it. Like just in the haste, they just start moving at a time. But now the valve is open and the fuel is floating now. Yes, so there's so. no any failures. It's just like sometimes negligence. Sometimes we call this. You have to do pre-checking before moving. And while sailing in the boat, you say while moving, you have to continue checking the engine whether there's a leakage coming out. And after the service, also you have to check the engine after 10 minutes of off when the engine is from motor. So we have little experience in this. Yeah, but you know, do the pre-checking before we start moving. But well, sometimes, you know, education is also good. You know, with the black and white. Yeah. Excellent, but appreciate it, appreciate it. So, family, that was our introduction to this uh, this journey we're about to take. So, we have a whole lot more to show you, especially once we get closer to Kunta Kente Island and uh, Jufri. <laughs> So we are your neighbor brothers and we're gonna make sure you enjoy, enjoy. All of these are boats are the same, five or six tall. I see this one looks a little bigger. These are all privately owned, each of these boats. Ah, uh, yes, privately owned. Yeah. Who owns this boat right here? This one is owned by a Swedish. I'm talking about this one, I'm talking about this one. This one, one is owned by a Gambian. One, yeah. yeah, this one is owned by a Gambian who lives in the USA. So he's the owner uh, of this boat. He was here, he traveled with me last night, we were talking together. You know, that I'm going to use your boards. I'm not going to use the British and the Swedish board. You have the British and Swedish board here. The German boards are here. The Spanish board is down we're, there. We had a brother from America that we used two years ago, right? He's from America, he's, right? He's here in Bath. He's in the US now. Oh, he's in the US. The other one is a Spanish board owned by a white man. So they make making business here too. They used to buy these boards. They make it for them. And then they do tourism in the Gambia. When Spanish tourists come, they use their Spanish people. Sometimes they... They will tell the boys, if you give me 10%, if you give me 10 customers, I'll give you some to bring the boys. So here we are focusing only on our own Gambian brother. So this is the easel. So but like since I started working, I never leave my Gambian brother's board because I know the boss here. I was just here some time ago. I was working here, so I know this boss here. So for them, they can even give you a price of 15, 1500 They can give you a price of even just to, to make sure that they work because they are in Europe and they are white. Yes. So just to get little, it's better for them. But it's better to give your own brother than to give it somebody outside. Absolutely, that's why this, your, 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 our t-shirts say Africa for the Africans. Africans. There you go, family. So that's how we do it, family. We support black owned enterprise. The goal is to always put black dollars if, in black if you hands. Use this channel, look at the river now. We're having two right now. And it's, sorry, the channel. If you use this channel, you go to Lamel Lodge. There's a lot inside down there, it's called Lamel Lodge. That Lamel Lodge was created because of a reason. At that time, people were living on site here during the colonial time, people were living at this small island. So, that place, this is the place where they used to go and go to the community. They used their small kennels and go to the community. 
You see, I see Brikama down there. You see, you see the climate. You see them. You see Brikama. We can't see that far yeah. out. You see, you look far. You see, and we doing like this now. You see, you see far there. So people are living down there, and here also before. Alright, the family we're about to pass through these mangroves and then we're gonna hit yeah, the exactly. open Gambian rivers flow. So family, the journey continues and we have a whole lot more to share with you.